Cross-select mode is a unique tool that allows for cross-selection of objects between the schematic and the PCB. So this makes it easy to look for specific components and decide what we want to do with them. First, we'll enable it from the Tools menu. You'll notice a grey box around the icon to let us know when it's enabled. The best way to use cross-select mode is by dividing the workspace. Simply right-click in the Documents bar where we can select Split Vertical or Horizontal or we can open it up in a new window if you're using a second monitor. This will allow you to see both environments at once. You can select a group of components, nets, or pins from the schematic and you'll see that they're highlighted in the PCB and this works in both directions. Now cross-select mode is commonly used in the component placement stage. If you have a dense PCB, it can be difficult to find the exact components that you're looking for. This tool can also be useful when you have circuitry that needs to be placed together. With the PCB document active, we can go to the Tools menu and use the Reposition Selected Components command. It's worth noting that we can also change the settings of the cross-select mode from the system preferences. You can choose if you want components, nets, or pins to be selected, along with a few behavior options as well. For example, if you're about to place components, you may want to disable the nets to be selected as you would only want to move the components. If you enable the Reposition Selected Components option, this will automatically place the components on your cursor when they're selected. And if you enable the Focus Document option, it'll jump to the other window and make it the active document after the selection is made. Aside from just component placement, we can also use this tool to make changes to certain traces in the PCB. You can then use the Post Selection filter in the Properties panel to make changes to objects such as the width of the selected traces. Don't forget to reset the Post Selection filter to all objects when you're done using it. Feel free to experiment with Cross Select mode to see what works best for you.